Ahoy and welcome. This is Admiral. Today we're going to size up some AoE 2 wonders, featuring the work of this fellow, whom you might call Waini Widi Creavi or Veini Vidi Creavi, based on whether you prefer classical Latin or church Latin, and whom I might call Veini Vidi Da Vinci for his contributions to AoE 2 art and science. Who are you? Who are so wise in the ways of science? Either way, it's a fitting name, as well Kaiser or Caesar was known for coming, seeing, and conquering. This user, also known as Urbifex, is becoming iconic for crafting colossally cool creations. And both crafts, creation, and conquest contribute to make this classic build and destroy game so consistently compelling. If you frequent the AoE2 subreddit, you may have seen some of his older constructions, such as scenario editor recreations of fantastic cities, ranging from the fictional Fire Nation capital to my personal favorite, the famous historical Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan. Those are surely worthy of their own videos, but today we'll be focusing on his more recent project of researching the real-life dimensions of AoE2 wonders, and scaling up the in-game models in order to provide a more realistic depiction of their relative sizes and you'll notice that he's also modified some of their other features where necessary. While AoE2 has a strict one-size-fits-all policy for wonders, restricting them to a mere 5x5 five five tiles, in reality, most of them would have required many more tiles, not to mention bricks, beams, cement, and other components for their construction. But here's some rare footage of the original graphic artists trying to convince the game producers to let them surpass this claustrophobic constraint and make larger, more realistic wonders. Uh, yeah, well, well, some of them are quite a bit bigger than last year. I don't care how big they are! Ultimately, their bid was unsuccessful, so we ended up with the 5x5 five five tiles. Now the elephant in the room... is right here. And there are some villagers for scale. And there's Waldo! But the metaphorical elephant in the room is that while we'd expect these buildings to be larger than their downscaled depictions in-game, there's such a dramatic variance in size between some of them that they don't all remotely belong in the same league in terms of dimensions. You might even say that the concept of a world wonder itself, appearing in the first Age of Empires, and originally referring to the seven wonders of the ancient world, including the massive Great Pyramid of Giza and the Colossus of Rhodes, has been watered down a bit to allow for all 45 AoE2 civilizations to have one. Although I don't want to blow that discrepancy out of proportion, since I think you might agree with me that it was a good choice from a game design perspective. And of course there are other factors apart from size that can make these structures impressive and historically significant. Size matters not. Does me by my size, do you? And at least the buildings in AoE 2, while still on the small side, are a clear upgrade from their cramped AoE 1 counterparts. But the most striking result of Veni's project may be in showing us the contrast between the massive Colosseum, which isn't actually the Colosseum, but rather the smaller, circular Verona amphitheater, and the smaller buildings, especially the Vietnamese Wonderling and the Viking Wunderkind. Incidentally, the Viking Wonder has always been my favorite in-game wonder, looming like a wizard tower of Odin or monumental multi-story Mead Hall of Hrothgar although it is in fact based on the more humble and more Christian Borgund Stave Church. My other favorites are the Japanese and Maya wonders, although many of the post-AOC DLC wonders are also fantastic. But as a Vikings fan, the comparison with the massive Roman amphitheater can be a little upsetting, until I consider that the Northmen don't have to compensate for anything, whereas the Romans were famous for their short swords. Even so, credit to the Romans for being large and in charge when it came to erecting rock-hard and long-lasting Roman concrete monuments. Other standouts are the Persian Arch of Tesiphon, the Aztec Way Teocali or Templo Mayor, the Byzantine Hagia Sophia, the Magyar Corvin or Hunyadi Castle, the Hindustani Tomb of Humayun, the Turkish Selimye Mosque, the Burgundian Brussels Town Hall, the Frankish Wonder, the Japanese Daibutsuden of the Tō Daiji Temple Complex, and the Central Temple of Angkor Wat, which is just part of the enormous complex. Some of the other wonders come close to these in terms of foundation size, or are distinguished for their impressive height. Notably missing are the Celts Wonder, which I hear is soon to be added, and the Great Tent of Genghis Khan, who I hear is using it on a camping trip. Anyway, this is just a quick overview of Veni's project, which I highly recommend checking out on Reddit, link in description, and may feature again in a more comprehensive future video. If you want to see a deeper dive on some of these wonders individually or by region, 
you can let me know in the comments. And I'd also be interested in hearing which wonder is your favorite, in-game or in real life, or which of them you've had the opportunity to visit. And speaking of future videos, this will be the first in a series I've been wanting to do for a while, but it hadn't made a priority until now, when I couldn't miss the opportunity to showcase this awesome project. I'll probably call it something like Community Chest, and the plan is to have a weekly feature of community-inspired content from Reddit, the official forums, or elsewhere. It might be a particularly interesting or spicy discussion, a weigh-in on new announcements, or a showcase of a marvelous Mazda pizza like this one. Speaking of Mazda pizzas, and as you probably know, the Viper has some exciting news as well, and I send him and his family my congratulations. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and again, credit to Veni Vidi Creavi, aka Urbifex, for his impressive undertaking, which among other things might put to rest the age-old myth that everything is bigger in Texas and instead lends credence to the time-honored theory that all roads lead to Rome, where tourists travel to see their massive monuments. If you haven't already, consider subscribing so that one day we can build a Viking wonder the size of the large Roman amphitheater, where the next Red Bull can be played. That's all for today, and thanks for watching. Till next time.